Hi, everybody. I'm Joel Simmons for another Two Minute Turf Talk. I got a call from a client the other day talking about his soil test with great concern. He looked at this soil test and was asking many questions. First of all, take a look at this soil test. The CEC is relatively high, which means that's a big soil. The pH is above 7, which means there's no hydrogen on this soil profile. And the question that we first asked was, why is the pH what it is? Not what it is, but why is it what it is? And in this particular case, the pH is actually being driven by the combination of magnesium, which is quite excessive, and potassium, which is also excessive, both cations. The way for us to push these off the colloid is to put into this soil what is deficient. And in this case, what is deficient is calcium. As you can see by the deficiencies here, both samples, left and right, have calcium deficiencies. So in this case, the recommendation is using high calcium lime, even though the pH is high, because what we want to accomplish is using that lime to knock off that excessive magnesium, which will actually start to allow hydrogen to come onto that soil colloid and bring the pH down. pH is high because of the magnesium. If we can find a way to push that magnesium off by using this high calcium lime, we can actually change that soil. Not only can we change the soil chemically, but as was described to me by my client, this soil was very tight and compacted. He had a hard time getting a probe into this to take the soil sample. Again, that's because of that excessive amount of magnesium. If you've ever walked across a muddy soil and it sticks to your boot, it gets really sticky, that's oftentimes uh, a, a high magnesium soil. High calcium limestone is low magnesium limestone. By using that limestone, we'll actually drive magnesium off the soil, balance this soil, open it up physically, provide a better environment for biology, and have a better overall soil.